Hey Cancers, welcome to your weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Uh, this is for today, August 23rd to August 31st. Hope you guys are doing good. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session that I do before I start recording. Then we're going to go ahead and do the reading. Cancers. Oh wait, oh sorry, jump ahead, jump ahead, because I was like, I don't want, I don't want to let go of what I, what I, what I have for you guys. Um, so when I, when I talk about my meditative session, it's energy that's in and around you, okay? So it's energy that could be coming from you or someone that you're energet energetically connected to or someone in your energy field, okay? All right, Cancers. That being said, let's get into it. I picked up, first of all, a lot of sacral energy. A <laughs> lot of sacral energy, my goodness. Um, Cancers, I picked up on a lot of different scenarios here. Um, we'll see what comes through in the reading, but just intuitively, I'm going to go over all the little different scenarios I was picking up on, okay? Um, first thing I saw, very specific, was a green cobra, and it was like wrapping slowly around a rock, like very slow. Cancers, some of you have, have someone that is like surrounding you. Keep in mind, this could also be vice versa, because it's energy. Um, Cancers, you have someone that's like trying to slowly wrap themselves around you. Could be dealing with Ishlesha, or you could be in Ishlesha placement for those who follow Vedic. If you don't follow Vedic, don't worry about it, okay? Um, but I feel like the slow ensnaring, uh, some of you don't like that. <laughs> I feel like Cancers would not like that at all because it, it's confining, it's restrictive. It's like, whoa, it's like, you know, Cancers like their space. Cancers really do like their space. Um, when they want it, I'll put it that way. When they want their space, they need their fucking space. Um, some of you, I do feel this This is protective. Like you have someone actually trying to protect you energetically or actually trying to protect you against someone or something. If that's your scenario, you already know that. Um, others, I feel almost like a slow, like sneak attack of love. <laughs> like someone doesn't really know how to approach you, Cancer, or someone doesn't really know what to do. And so it's almost like, if I move really slow under the radar, they won't notice that I'm coming in. They won't notice what I'm trying to do. It's like, it's very, very interesting. Um, others, you might actually be dealing with a Scorpio. It's actually very Scorpionic energy as well, but not necessarily. Not necessarily. I also saw eggs cooking. Maybe you're just cooking eggs. I thought that was interesting. Oh, cooking up ideas. Okay, thank you, thank you Spirit. Cooking up ideas. And, and I really do feel this energy of major success Cancers, I saw the star card and the sun card. They showed me the star card and the sun card. Some of you could be um, coming into some major success. Some of you could be getting mentioned in like a blog or the news. Others of you could be public figures. Take that as it resonates. But major success and happiness, honestly, Cancer. Major success and happiness. Could be in the Leo or an Aquarius. Not necessarily. <clears throat> also healing has taken place cancer some of you it is from your for your sacral some of you it is sacral healing related healing sexual traumas healing from relationships that were you know left you a little scarred right that's definitely for some of you and i also heard the word perfection i heard the word perfection i feel like cancers you're just honing in your craft you're really honing in your craft you're making like things as perfect as as you could possibly get them and you're just having fun with it which is really really nice cancer for those who that resonates with i also feel like someone's looking at you like perfection cancer um someone's looking at you like <laughs> like i can't find anything about them that i don't like <laughs> And I, oh, they're showing me that snake again. Yeah, that's the snake person. Some of you are definitely dealing with a snake person. Could just be year of the snake as well. But it's energy they're harnessing. And like, I don't want you guys to be put off by the idea of like snake, snake energy, especially as an animal totem, because it comes in so many different flavors, guys, depending on the context, the colors that you see in sna on snakes, if you're seeing them in dreams and whatnot, or if you're getting visions of snakes, it depends on what they're doing. And it depends on the color. And sometimes it depends on what type of snake they are. For that green cobra, I, I really feel like for a lot of you, it is positive intentions, like intentions, well-intended, <laughs> that this person is well-intended, okay? I really do feel that way. It's not like they were attacking. It's not like they were, it's not like they have an energy of like, uh, of ill aggression. I want to say ill aggression because there's something a little aggressive about it, but again, it feels like it's, it's, it's well-intentioned. So for some, like I said, it's just a protective stance that someone's taking or someone could be trying to claim you slowly, like that sneak attack of love. 
Um, it could, oh, oh guide. Yeah, for some of you, it's actually a guide that's trying to protect you and work a little bit healing, work a little bit of healing on you guys. So keep that in mind. Like I said, I picked up a lot of stuff, but that's all the stuff I picked up on. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a peek and do go ahead into your reading. So for those who are new to my channel, keep in mind that I do have a video down below for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out that video. Okay, keep in mind these are very general readings. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. I can't read for 8 million, billion people at once, guys, all right? So just take things as they resonate. If it's not your week, it's not your week, and that's okay. That's okay. Someone else had to hear that message. And if it's not your message, then no need to throw shade. No need to throw any hate. Please, by all means, go check out another reader. Um, there are a lot of great readers here on YouTube, guys. A lot of really great ones, okay? Uh, we are working with energy. So like I said, it could be vice versa. So if it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, then just switch them up. It's still resonating. It's still resonating. Uh, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And when I call out sign energy, I'm just doing that for informative purposes. It's just energy being harnessed. We can all harness any energy of any sign that we want to, any given time we want to. It doesn't really pertain to the person's chart. It's just the energy they're harnessing. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. Some of you guys could be cops. I don't know why all of a sudden I picked that up. Why am I seeing cops? Why am I seeing cops? Why am I? Yeah. Okay. Why am I seeing cops? Some of you could be dealing with the like the legal, the legal. The <laughs> some of you could be dealing with the legal system um there's it's so weird they're showing me just like one still image it's like and it's not even like modern it's very like old school stereotypical like something you'd see um in a cartoon like an old tv show it's like it's a cop car it looks like like from the 80s or 90s i'm actually seeing a black woman it's like she's actually both cops, two cops, I guess partners, right? Partners, partners in, oh, I just heard partners in crime. Oh, okay, spirit. Okay, you guys got a sense of humor today. All right. <laughs> oh, I know where this is going. Okay, I'm going to finish telling you what I'm seeing and then I'll tell you where this is going. So I'm seeing a black woman. Um, she's actually got braids, probably like five, 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 four, like in that stance, like, like again, very like TVS, like holding a gun. She's on the drive. She's on the driver's side, but the door is open. So she's standing between the door and like the entryway to the car, you know, all like in her stance. Other side, I'm seeing a white male shaved head. I don't think bald shaved head. I want to say five, nine, five, ten. Same stance. Same stance. Very 80s, 90s TV show stereotypical cop partners in crime. OK, spirit, you guys are funny. Um. I definitely feel like that's pertaining to a good chunk of you, actually, where, you know, you, you do have someone in your life or coming in, coming in, coming in. Thank you. Coming in. This is not someone that you're with currently. This is someone who's coming in. New or old, it could be reconciliation. I do feel like for a good chunk of you, though, that they're new. They're new. Um, it's you, two peas in a pod, man. Like two peas in a pod, joined at the hip, partners in crime. It, it's like unstoppable is also what I'm getting. Unstoppable force. Okay, I like that. That was cool. That was cool spirit. Any messages for cancer? That was an intense little channeling right there. I had to keep my eyes closed for that one. Any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer? Regarding love? I'm also getting a lot of um, energy of, of you guys balancing 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 your masculine feminine your dark energy your light energy which is great that means a lot of you're coming into alignment a lot of you could also be ascending or finishing an ascension that's really beautiful if you do that very much that same kind of energy from what they just showed me very unstoppable force whistleblowing i just heard whistleblowing any messages for cancer regarding love from now until august 31st any messages oh see here oh oh <laughs> hangman in reverse piscean energy i don't know what that noise was either guys i don't know some of you were like what am i should make that noise i don't know i'm a little loopy this morning hangman in reverse piscean energy with the five of pentacles in reverse taurian energy here someone's become enlightened get out just heard get out someone's become enlightened and they know they need to get out of their situation quick switch i just heard quick switch it's almost like someone's like literally waking up and being like, oh, I need to get the fuck out of here. It's like, <laughs> it's very interesting. It's like a quick, like lightning bolt realization of, oh shit, this is who I am. 
this is what I need, this is what I want, and none of that is here. Like, nothing in this environment's gonna make that happen for me. Someone's like waking up and like realizing they are just in the wrong place, they made the wrong decisions, and they're gonna make some quick moves. This could be you, Cancer, or someone you're connecting with. Any other messages for my Cancers regarding love from now until August 31st? Any messages for my Cancers regarding love from now until August 31st? Loyalty is coming to the forefront here. I'm seeing dogs. Any messages from my Cancers regarding love from now? Oh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. This is someone stuck, not moving. I feel like this is the energy that's waking up and realizing that. Like, it's that kind of energy where, like, you know, a lot of people, I don't think any of you, but because you guys are pretty woke, but where, oh, people in the matrix. Sorry guys, this is getting deep. People in the matrix, okay. Yeah, it's like people who are like working that hamster wheel on the grind, 20 years later they wake up and they're like, wait a minute, where'd the last 20 years go? Someone's realizing they've been stuck in the same place for way too long, way too long, and they need to change that. Ooh. Oh God, there's a lot of peekers. Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. What is all of this? Oh, man. Wow. Eight of Cups. Piscean energy. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Four of Swords. Libra energy. Seven of Pentacles. Taurian energy. And then we have the Death card. Scorpionic energy. Okay, guys. We're not even done pulling a lot of cards yet, but this is a lot of energy attached to this person. I feel like this Emperor is also this Knight. Like, waking up realizing, oh, shit, this is not the life I'm supposed to have. I need to get the hell out of Dodge. I need to change something. Because look at this. Look at this energy attached to them. The Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles. Like, this is someone realizing that they need to leave. They need to leave a certain situation with the Eight of Cups um, to get to this energy. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles to get to stability, to get to a place of, of confidence as well. Confidence and contentment. Contentment. Is that a word? Being content, <laughs> being content. But four swords and seven of pentacles, I do feel this energy of, in the back of their mind, like in their subconscious, they've been wanting to do this. Whoever this emperor is, it could be you, it could be someone you're connecting with. This is something they've been wanting, but it's almost like with the death card, shit, I've been doing this the wrong way. I need to change what I'm doing because clearly it's not, it's not getting me to where I need to be. Someone's having just a sudden realization about this. Let's see what else we have. Any other messages for Cancers? Any other messages for Cancers regarding love? End game. Yeah, someone's realizing <laughs> this is the end game I want, but what I've been doing hasn't been working, so I need to change what I'm doing to get to my end game. Any other messages for Cancers regarding love from now until August 31st? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Cancer. We've got a Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, and the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be um, water or air. This could be you or the person you're connecting with. You know, honestly, I feel like this is all one energy, Cancer. I feel like this is all one person. Someone realizing they've been stuck in the same place for too long. Someone realizing they're not the emperor that they want to be. God damn it. <laughs> this is my end game. That's my end game. I've clearly been doing this wrong. They're just waking up and realizing this for whatever reason or another. I've been investing my time wrong, wrong, and that needs to change. I need to figure out how to do that because I'm not happy. Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm not happy, but there is a sense of love here. Why do I feel like this is the snake person? It is. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. This is the snake person. Cancer. This is all this other person's energy. That's how much they've encro they're encroaching in on your energy field. They're dominating your reading, okay? They're dominating your reading. That's how ensnared they are in your energy field, whether you're aware of it or not. I do feel like it's been a slow uh, slithering, and I think their end game has really been you, you know, to get to a place of stability, to get to a place of confidence, to be that emperor for you, whether it's to work with you, like flat out, whether it's just to work with you or to be in a relationship with you, to be close to you, because there's something about you that they see as perfect. 
perfect. Like they wouldn't change a thing, which is why they've been trying to ensnare, ensnare, ensnare. And then they're, they're like, holy shit, my strategy is not working. I need to change something. I need to change something. My strategy with cancer is not working. My strategy in this is not working. I'm not in the right place right now. Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm not happy with how this is going. I need to change the game. Overall energy, we do have High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. This is their overall energy, Cancer. That realization, waking up in Cancer, it's so interesting because they're realizing whatever they've been doing has not been working. They're realizing they're not in a happy place, right? That they need to get out of this. They need to get out of this unfortunate circumstance is what I just heard, unfortunate circumstance, because they've been slowly working their way towards you, but they've been going about it all in the wrong way. Some feel like they're about to lose their chance at you, whether it's just business or love. And it's that sudden lightning bulb moment of, all right, time to get serious. I can't move slow. I can't just stay still. I can't, some have been actually waiting for you too, like as a like, I'll wait for a little green light from cancer, then I'll just go in for the kill. I can't wait. I can't stay still. I can't move slow anymore. This isn't working. I need to change my strategy. I know cancer. It's a little intense today. <laughs> Even the way the energy is flowing through me is a little intense. So let's go ahead and look at their little light bulb moment a little closer with that hangman in reverse, okay? Whew. All of a sudden, I got really hot. Okay. Let me use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse. You know, in Cancer, it's, it's so interesting because I feel like... That was weird. Did the camera just do something weird or was that a notification? It could have just been a notification that like caught my eye at the last second. That was weird. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, Cancer, it's interesting because I feel like... I feel like a lot of you have a lot of attention on you from many people. This person, hold on, if I could hold them up. This person just being one of them, one of them. And that might be the light bulb moment for this person, maybe realizing that, that maybe their strategy is working against them because there are other people involved, okay? Because Cancer, I, I know you're aware of at least one of these energies, but I don't think you're very cognizant of how many eyes are on you right now regarding business or love okay tell me about hangman in reverse so just be mindful of that cancer yeah just be mindful of that like i can I, I can feel it it's almost like it's almost like being on stage a little bit like you think there's only one person in the audience and you think there might be like that one person in, in backstage and you're just practicing you're just working your craft doing your thing or something of that nature living life essentially living life thinking that you only have like one or two people significant people in your life that are with you supporting you no cancer you don't see like the other 20 uh, set of eyes like in the dark in the back like watching you tell me about hangman in reverse i don't want to make you nervous i feel like i just made you guys nervous tell me about hangman in reverse for cancer it doesn't feel maniacal i mean i'm sure you yeah you've got a couple haters in there but I just want you to be aware because Cancer, I think you can become very overwhelmed easily if these energies swoop in too, too intensely. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse for Cancer regarding love from now until August 31st. Also be mindful of pregnancy. Uh, they're bringing up that sacral energy to me again. Be very mindful of pregnancy. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse. Ooh, Knight of Swords in Reverse. Gemini energy could also be um, air or fire. Why is the drama coming here? Oh, panic. They're freaking out. Okay. So when this person, when this emperor is having this light bulb moment, they're freaking out. They're freaking out. Okay. It's almost like real, realizing something that they, they don't want to realize about their strategy, realizing something they don't want to realize about, about you, how they've gone about things with you, how they've gone about things with their life, their own life. Yeah, it's, it's, they're freaking out. I'm actually hearing meltdown. Tell me about hangman in reverse. This is someone who really thought they knew it all, is also what they're telling me, who really thought they knew it all, who really thought they could handle control. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, who really thought they could control situations very well. They thought like kind of like the smartest person in the room kind of energy when it comes to you, when it comes to their life and like they're waking up and they're like, 
oh my God, I have no control over the situation. And, and they're kind of freaking out. Kind of a control freak here, Cancer. Not liking that. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse for Cancer. Oh, three of cups, can't Syrian energy. Yeah, they're freaking out, Cancer, because you're having a really good time. You're having a really, really, really good time here. Because like I said, you're focusing on you, you're honing your craft, um, you're focusing on life, not people, but life. And that's the way to live. And they're freaking out because it's like, oh my God, I can't control cancer. I can't control this situation. I can't surround cancer. Um, others where there's that protective energy, um, I think, like I said, they're realizing that there's a lot more eyes on you than even you thought and even that this person was aware of. And so they're worried about the people around you. Three of Cups is also like a social energy of just like party energy, like everyone at the party, right? All the people that are around you, social circle energy, people in your energy field. They're waking up to that and they're freaking out. They feel like they can't protect, oh, they feel like they can't protect you. They feel like they can't protect you. Others, they're feeling like they can't control you. Well, good. <laughs> You're not someone to be controlled, Cancer. My guy just saying it's more about controlling the situation than cancer. Okay, okay, okay. But that's what Spirit's saying. It's more about controlling the situation than controlling you. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse for cancer. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse for cancer regarding love from now until August 31st. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse for cancer. Oh, shit, yeah. Wow. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! That Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy, Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Yeah, and it makes them very unhappy. It makes them very unhappy, Cancer, that they can't control this situation the way they thought they could because they thought they were the smartest person in the room. Um, also realizing that because there's so many eyes on you and so many people interested in you for business or love or otherwise, that it's like, even if I wanted to protect Cancer, I can't do it from where I'm at. Right, because it's about getting out of where they are. I can't protect protect cancer the way I want to protect cancer from where I'm at. I can't control the situation the way I want to control the situation with cancer from where I'm at. And they're just generally unhappy. And they do see that a lot of you are having fun, enjoying work, enjoying life, and they want to be a part of it, but they're not a part of it. This person feels very much in the background. And like I said, it's like a slow ensnaring. It's like you're you kind of know of them that they're kind of around. But it feels like such a sense of separation. I don't feel any communication, to be honest with you. Or if there is, it's very minimal. If there is communication, it's very minimal. Like you're maybe talking like maybe once a week, if that. And even then, they're very short conversations is what they're telling me. Short conversations. Very short conversations. Overall energy? Yeah, the star. Aquarian energy. It's funny because they showed me this in my mind's eye. Yeah, this is the overall energy for the hanged man. This is healing energy and also wishes coming true. Cancer, your wishes are coming true, man. And you're celebrating. You're celebrating. You're enjoying it. You're living it. You're in it. And that's freaking beautiful. I love that. I love that. However, it's making this person crazy. It's making this person very restless and they're panicking and they're freaking out. They're freaking out. Okay. So let's get into these other energies a little bit. Like I said... They haven't gone about this the right way. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and they're waking up to that. It's that sudden light bulb moment. This is the wrong strategy. Some have actually been waiting for a green light from you to go in for the swift kill while they've been kind of slowly hanging around your energy, hanging around your energy field. And for those that are protecting or trying to protect, it's interesting this energy of protect because I feel like it's not really protecting. Oh, that's making me insane. It's like a, an alarm, but I don't know if, if I touch it, it might stop the recording. It's making me too crazy. I'm sorry, I have to do something. Uh, please don't stop the recording. Dismiss. Oh, yay, it didn't stop it. Okay. Uh, others where it's this protective energy. I feel like in their mind, it's protection. In their mind, it's protection. But I don't feel like it's really protection. I actually feel like it's just being territorial. <laughs> like, cancer mine, cancer mine, cancer mine, cancer mine. <laughs> it doesn't feel like real protection. Protecting their interests. Yeah, it's not real protection. It's protecting their interests. That's interesting. And their interest is you, business or love. Um, again, realizing they've been going about this the wrong way. Like I said, some have been waiting for that green light to go in for the kill. That's not working. Um, others have been taking such a really freaking slow kind of ensnaring around you, trying to be under the radar. And it's like, oh shit, that's not working because cancer is just on the move. 
Cancer's on the move. Cancer's having fun. Cancer's rising. Cancer's rising. Cancer's ascending. Cancer's excelling. Just heard excelling. And that's all this energy attached to the emperor. Having this realization, um, wanting to head towards you, Cancer, wanting to be like cemented to you. Oh, partners in crime. Thank you. Wanting to be cemented to you. Cemented to you. They got to change how they're doing this. They know that. They know they have to change how they're doing this. Oops. And then with this energy, the King of Cups, Ten of Cups in reverse, this is them wanting to be loyal and commit to you in business and or love. But there's a lot of love going on here, Cancer. This person's got a lot of love for you. So I want to look at the death card. Um, and then I want to look at the King of Cups and we'll pull some advice. So let's look at the death card. Why not death? I'm using Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about death for cancer. Details. What about the details? Oh. Cancer? <laughs> Spirit just said all details will be revealed. Why does that make me nervous? All details will be revealed. One way or another, Cancer, you're going to find out everything this person's up to, but I think it has something to do with the other eyes on you. I feel like ugh, this might be a little, is this a tower? For some, for some, there's going to be a tower moment with the other energies that are watching you. They could just all come in at the same time or something, you know, just something, something related to the other eyes on you that will reveal all the details Reveal all the details of what this emperor is up to. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. I can't even see how that's possible, but that's what spirit says. So just trust in it. I'm just trusting it. Tell me about death for cancer regarding love. Tell me about death for cancer. Regarding love from now until August 31st. Oh, I just heard friend and foe. Cancer, clearly this person has good intentions towards you. People around them I don't think do. And some of those people I think are watching you. Okay, so be mindful. I think that might be what's going to happen here. Um, I think all details will be revealed because of some foe you may have that's connected to this person. Or a foe you have in general, and that's going to bring in a tower moment, and this person's going to have to spring up into action to help and protect you. And again, it's like, because this person loves you, Cancer. Like, keep that in mind. This person really does love you. They really care about you a great deal. Um, I don't like the way they're going about this, and I don't. I know you don't like the way they're going about this. Um, but yeah, I'm really feeling strongly that's what's going to happen. You have a foe of some kind, whether it's going to be a tower moment, and this person's going to want to swoop in to help you, protect you, support you, be there for you. Others, it's a foe attached to this person. Okay? Others, it's a foe attached to this person. Uh, so be mindful of that. That's how all the details are going to be revealed. Tell me about death for cancer. Regarding love. From now until the 31st. It could even just be a rival suitor for those where this is just purely romance. Or if it's business, a rival um, in business in, your, in the field that you're in. Tell me about death. Because you have a lot of eyes on you, Cancer. A lot. Way more than you realize right now. Tell me about death. The star. <laughs> Aquarian energy, yeah. Yeah, Cancer, you are like perfection to them. You are their wish fulfillment. You are their dream come true, which is why they know they need to change the way they're going about this, their strategy, so to speak, their strategy, because they want you. They want you. Tell me about death. Tell me about death for Cancer. Tell me about death for Cancer regarding love from now until August 31st. Oh, wow. The moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Clarity, stuff coming to light. No more illusions. No more illusions, no more secrets. Yeah, Cancer, their, their strategy is going to change and they're going to come in. Things are going to be revealed here, okay? Things will be revealed. Let's see what else we have here. A lot of healing energy too. I'm liking this. A lot of healing energy. There's something about this emperor that is being healed in the process of this. 
And I was getting a lot of sacral healing in the beginning. I think that might be what that is. Tell me about death. Tell me about, oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Tell me about death for cancer. Tell me about death for cancer regarding love from now until the 31st. Woo! Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, their strategy, they realize they have to change their strategy because they want to come after you and they're realizing they have to do it by releasing some stuff. That might be why they've gone about this under the radar, sneaky, kind of just slowly entangling, <laughs> the slow entangling cancer because th they might have had some fear that was holding them back. Because someone who wants to control a situation like this usually has some insecurities. And even though overall for death, we do have the devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, there, there's something about this person that needs to be purged and healed. Uh, cause yeah, they, they're just a little too much about control. They're just a little too much about control and cancer. You're not someone who can be controlled, That like when you are approached by someone who's trying to control you, you retreat. And when a cancer retreats, good luck opening up that crab shell. <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that. Some of you could have even been feeling this energetically and have just energetically been retracting your energy. They're realizing that they're realizing that's been one of the flaws in their strategy. Wow. That's so fascinating. <laughs> I, why is there more of this sacral energy coming forward? It's like, it's a little intense, guys. Um, perfection, 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 perfection. Cancer, like this person gets really freaking hot for you. This emperor gets really hot for you. It's like, sexually speaking, you're, you're very perfect. You're, you're perfect in every way to this person. Even your flaws are perfect. That's it. Oh, that's cute. That's kind of cute. Even your flaws are perfect. <sighs> they want this too much. Okay. Even spirits saying that to me, like they get so hot for you. They're almost addicted to you. No, addict is not the right word because addicted is like, I feel like that has a connotation of um, toxicity. It's not that. It's not that. There's just such a, there's such sexual energy between the two of you. But Cancer, you manage it better than this person. That's interesting. You manage it better than this person. So they know they need to let go of some things. Uh, some of their insecurities that they don't want to try to control the situation because they just want it really bad. But when it's like when they learn to curb that, why am I thinking of Nubian right now? <laughs> when they learn to curb that and control themselves instead of, yeah, that's what it is, controlling themselves as opposed to the environment, they, they, they'll, they, yeah, that'll be a healthier strategy. That'll be a healthier way of going about this. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> let's look at the King of Cups and then we'll pull some advice. I'm gonna use Steampunk for this one. Let's look at this King of Cups slash Emperor. Tell you this King of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about this King of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about this King of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about this King of Cups for Cancer. Regarding love. There's also this energy that, again, this pulling away Cancer. Because of the strategy they've taken and it hasn't been working for you, it hasn't worked with you, um, it's not a good strategy for this situation. A lot of you have been pulling away, like more and more and more away. This person really doesn't like that. It makes them very unhappy. Tell me about King of Cups for Cancer regarding love. Yeah, this person's got to work on their security. Um, and like to get rid of their insecurities because I'm feeling like this person might even have some impulsivity issues, um, even some addiction issues at that. Tell me about King of Cups because they're not, that's what it is, because they're not content within themselves. They have no self-control. And once they gain that self-control and learn that self-control, they'll stop trying to control other people and other situations, including you. And that's going to be the key for them. That's going to be the key to, you know, to their end game. Tell me about King of Cups for Cancer regarding love. Tell me about King of Cups for Cancer regarding love from now until the 31st. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups for Cancer regarding love from now until the 31st. 
Wow, King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, man, they're insecure. Taurian energy. Um, this could also be Earth or Air. Oh, damn. Yeah, they've got a lot of love for you, Cancer, but they got to work on their insecurities. They got to learn how to be content within themselves. They got to learn how to be content within themselves. That's going to be the key to their success. It, it's kind of, that's not an easy thing because that requires a lot of change. That requires a lot of self-recognition, self-acceptance, and a lot of healing in the process. I'm also, I'm also getting this energy of like, I think this person's used to money playing a big role in relationships. Like, oh, I'll take you on a shopping spree. I'll take you here. I'll take you there. I'll do this. I'll do that. Like, I think they're used to buying their partners and cancer. You can't be bought. And that takes away another strategy that they're used to. But Cancer, I think that's good for them. I think that's good for this person because it's basically you're the perfect person to highlight the shit they need to work on to get them to be the person they're supposed to be, to get them to be a healthier individual. So it's like if they could have tried to buy you and you were like, no, I'm not impressed by that. <laughs> I'm not impressed by that. I'm not impressed by money. I'm not impressed by being bribed to be in a relationship or being kept in a relationship. Um, no, you can't bribe me with sex. No, you can't bribe me with this. It's like this energy of bribery. And then once that doesn't work, all right, well, how can I control the situation? How can I, how can I control the situation? They can't. And that's just the truth of it. Hierophant in reverse. Taurian energy and then the eight of wands. Sag energy here. Hmm. This is interesting with this Hierophant in reverse because King of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant in reverse, and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is communication and travel. They want to move forward to you, Cancer. They want to talk to you. Broken. They're really worried this bond has been broken. That's why that Hierophant is here. That's why they want to talk to you. Because they feel like you're so far away from them. No matter how much they try to reach you physically or energetically, they feel like you're just pulling further and further and further away. They don't want this to be broken. They don't want this to be broken between the two of you. This energy of being locked in. They want you, they want to know that you have a loyal bond between the two of you and that no one else will have you in business and or love. So it almost feels very, very Torian, to be honest with you. But yeah, they got to work on their control issues. Tell me about King of Cups for cancer but they love you they definitely love you tell me about king of cups for cancer only me i just heard only me yeah this this person wants to be the only one cancer <laughs> the only one you do business with the only one that you are in a you know loving relationship with you know obviously to be committed right only one i want to be the only one tell me about king of cups i feel like this person has some jealousy issues as well so be mindful of that tell me about king of cups for cancer over energy, the emperor. Yep, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. This emperor slash king of cups, they want to be the only one for you, Cancer, in love and or business. This feels mostly like romance related though. And they know that the strategies they've tried to use on you haven't been working and won't work. They're realizing that. That's their light bulb moment. And they realize that they really are kind of losing you and you are getting further and further away because you're rising. You're rising, you're ascending, you're coming to some major success. Like I said, some of you are getting a lot of public recognition. You have a lot of eyes on you regardless. Some of you are in the public eye even, and you're celebrating life. And because of that, you're around a lot of people and you're away from this person physically. That's how it feels. Energetically, it feels like you're physically away from them, but that their energy is all up in your energy field. Like it's been slowly creeping in over time slowly creeping in over time because this person wants to control the situation, but they can't. They can't bribe you with sex. They can't bribe you with money. They can't control you. They can't control the situation. And it forces them to look at their own shit about how they go about relationships, about how insecure they really are and how to be content within themselves. And like I said, some even have addiction issues. And once they gain that, you know, comfortability with themselves, confidence with themselves, they won't feel the need to do all of this shit. They'll just want to talk because they feel like they're losing this connection with you. They feel like they need to be the only one and they will talk about it. They will talk to you about it, Cancer. Wow. Let's go ahead and pull some advice. Any advice for my Cancers? Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? 
And some of them really do feel like, you're my partner in crime, Cancer. That's it. You're my partner in crime. Some of you, this is someone that you haven't been romantically involved with. Others, it's a returning person that you have been romantically involved with. And for the former, for those where it's like a new person you haven't been romantically involved with, they've been watching you. They've been watching you. Okay, they could have even been coming across as like a friendly energy. Um, but I feel like for those in that scenario, it's like, it's a whole new dynamic that you're not used to with this person, however long you've known this person. But they've been staying on the periphery. They haven't been in the center of your life for those in that group. Okay. Any advice for Cancers regarding this spread? How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing good on time. I have to do a live video for Patreon soon, so I was like, just wanted to check. Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for my Cancers? Wow, Wombat Spirit, be at home. 68, that breaks down to a five, change and transformation. This is advice for the Emperor. This is about getting content within yourself, getting comfortable with yourself, becoming confident within, your, within yourself, healing those wounds that you need to heal so that you don't wanna to try to control everything outside of yourself except for you. We can only control ourselves. It's almost like this person, has, this Emperor has had um, a backwards way of being. And I've talked about this all the time. The only thing you can control in this world is yourself. You can't control anything else. This person has felt quite the opposite. Like, there's no way I can control myself. I'm gonna control everything else. Doesn't work. That doesn't work. Ooh. You gotta be at home within yourself, okay? And I'm also getting that energy again of like that energy field. Like I said, Cancer, this person's energy is in your energy field. Even if they're not physically in it, for some they are, but it's periphery. Like you don't talk to them very much, very, very short conversations for those who actually have communication with this person. Um, and Cancer, you are you are very protective of your own energy field, which is why this strategy hasn't been working. But they want in. They want into your bubble. Okay? And they want to be the only one. The same energy of the only one keeps coming forward. <laughs> they see the okay, okay, spirit. So funny. The snake sees the other snakes. They don't like it. They don't like it. Any advice for cancer regarding this spread? Any other advice for cancer regarding this spread? Any other advice for cancer regarding this spread? Any other advice for cancer regarding this spread? <laughs> Cancers, I'm just hearing some of your higher selves. I can only be bought with love and honesty. That's true. <laughs> Overall energy, peacock spirit, let it shine. 46 is just a cyclical energy. Like I said, Cancers, you're shining. You're shining. <clears throat> Hold you guys back up again. Look at you. You're seriously shining. You're being celebrated. Some of you are seriously being celebrated publicly or just by your family or a large group of people or like the company that you work for. Could be like throwing a party in your honor. Could be getting a big ass promotion. I did just hear CEO, CEO. Um, but letting it shine, you, Cancer, you are not stopping your shine for anybody, but your shine is what is making this person crazy because you're perfect to them. Like in every way, you're freaking perfect. You're perfect. You're perfect. They, I don't, they want me to say it three times. So <laughs> this is also an energy though for this, this emperor um, to be comfortable with that. There is something about you shining so bright, Cancer, that makes this person nervous, but that's because they're not content within themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's just because they're not content within themselves and that's their problem. They have to get comfortable with it and they have to learn to step into the energy too. That kind of energy will help them um, become confident. They have to go from the wombat to the peacock essentially. Like, okay, do the inner work, work on me. I'm comfortable, I'm cozy, I got this, I can do this. I can control myself, I can't control anything else and I fully accept that and I love cancer and I will never try to control cancer or the environments around me. And then Peacock Spirit, having that confidence to come out with that, having that confidence to come out with love and loyalty and commitment, healthy commitment, right? Not an ensnaring, controlling commitment. Wow. Cancer, this was intense. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste.